Daisy had a rabies vaccine today. I just don't like how she looks. How's it going, little one? We got some piles of squishy poop here. And she's shivering. It's not cold enough for her to be shivering because it's being cold. Daisy has in the past reacted bad from uh, a vaccine. I don't remember which one it was. But she's definitely having some issues with this one. Hmm. So now a lot of people are going to comment and say, oh my gosh, call the vet. Now I'm going to just watch her for a little bit and then I'll get in contact with my vet when I feel like there's a reason to. Now they can get sore and do weird things from vaccines, especially these minis. My ponies and minis, I find, tend to react more than the bigger horses. watch and see if she acts colicky or anything like that. She's pooping while she's laying here now, but these piles right here, these are probably from Lucky. He was laying over here too, um, because it looks like what just came out of Daisy is relatively firm, unless she just happened to lay down there, but that looks like she pooped while she was laying here. Um, now, I have seen her do this before, so I'm not going to panic. The way she's kind of tilting her head up, that's sort of weird. But she's clearly not... Look at her trembling. Oh. She's still able to talk to her friends. But just things to watch for. And this is why when I do vaccinate my horses, like we do our rabies vaccines in the fall when we do dentals and stuff. And in the spring, we do the rest of our vaccines. So I don't, I try not to overload them. I don't want to do too much at once. So this is just a rabies vaccine. November 1st today and it's chilly hey baby but it's not cold enough to have her be shivering the way she was I can't tell if she still is oh yeah see how she's quivering that's pretty typical oh poor baby Hey, Rosie. Are you worried about your friend? I'm going to check out and see if there's any kind of swelling or anything where she had the vaccine. Doesn't look like it. No, you're okay. But she's clearly not comfortable and she definitely has diarrhea. She's just uncomfortable and trying to find ways that she can make herself more comfortable. You know, the thing with this is a lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, call the vet. Well, you know what? There's probably not a lot that we can do. You know, vaccines kind of have to run their course. I can give her, probably give her a shot of banamine. That's what I'm guessing the vet's going to suggest to do just to help with any kind of soreness or inflammation or anything. So I'm gonna get in touch with her and just let her know what's going on. And I canceled, um, I canceled the thing that I was supposed to take my kids to tonight. So we're gonna skip that, but um, you know, they understand. When you have a farm, you do what you gotta do. So there's things that have to wait and things that you have to, there's a lot of sacrifices that are made we got to make sure that our animals are okay. Mm 
Hey, honey. Hi. He's like, I just don't feel good. Now, if she were to go over and start eating, that would be a good sign. My horses live outside 24 seven and it's very important to me that they are up on their vaccines. It is so common for us to have raccoons and skunks and porcupines and fox and wolves and coyotes and you name it, just kind of hanging near our pasture and such and anything can happen. And it's like um, a story that I heard before. Actually, if you want to um, learn more about rabies vaccines for horses i'll go ahead and post that link above to another video that we filmed all about rabies but you know i don't want to risk my horses one of them could get bit by something that has rabies and then all of a sudden now my horse has it so it's a, a very important vaccine for our horses and the environment that we live in so she's right now she's got a little diarrhea while she's laying there so she is not feeling good. So poor baby. You know, this is something that I worry about with Manzer because until you have a horse for a little bit and have them vaccinated a few times, you really don't know how they're going to handle it. So it can be really scary. So like with Manzer, he's not been vaccinated yet. So it's something that does concern me because you don't know how his body's going to handle it. And it's, it's scary, but it's important. <coughs> They've got a much higher risk of getting something that is preventable than it is for them having complications due to vaccines. So we had um, another, another vaccine that's very important by us is Eastern Equine Encephalitis. If you're not familiar with that, I'll post a link above and that'll kind of explain that. But basically we had quite a few horses in our area die from that. It's, it can't really be treated. Um, and it's very preventable. So it's something that if we vaccinate for, we can usually prevent it. But if we don't and they get it, there's not usually much that can be done. So. He's laying down over there too. Yeah, I got two ponies not feeling good. All 
I'm just waiting to hear back from the vet. I'm guessing that banamine is going to be the, the verdict here. Oh great, now bear's pawn. You know, this happened to me a couple years ago and boy, I had probably seven horses that all had reactions to the vaccine. Lots of trembling, that sort of stuff laying down, definitely not comfortable. Bear just pooped and he's got a little bit of runny poop too. And he looks like he's trembling. Let's go take a look at him. You gonna get up, Daisy? She's like, I don't know if I can. <coughs> Stella, leave it. Let's go take a look at Bear. Hey, Bear. How's it going? Are you not feeling good either? No, he's trembling too. Oh, makes you feel terrible. Okay. All right, I just talked to the vet and she said to go ahead and give everybody a dose of banamine, everybody that's reacting. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give them all, all the ones that are, are acting like they're uncomfortable, they're all gonna get a dose of banamine. So I'm gonna start with Daisy because she's the one that is reacting the most. Um, if you have horses, it's really a good idea to always have banamine on hand because you just never know. So banamine is my go-to if a horse is colicky um, and I give them you know, a dose, it's liquid and I give it orally. So this just gets squirted into their mouth. What am I doing? Um, this just gets squirted into their mouth and it's pretty fast to help out. So usually within just a short period of time, they're feeling a lot better. So if you have horses, talk to your vet about having banamine on hand and it'll really save you in a lot of situations. Well, everybody's up now. It's been about, I don't know. Just waiting on the banamine to kick in. Lucky and Bear are eating now, so that's good. Rosie hasn't seemed to be affected yet. And this is Daisy right here. And at least Daisy's just standing. But she is still trembling a little and she's clearly not feeling not feeling good. She keeps pawing. So when I see her start eating, that's my indication that she's feeling better. Horses don't feel good. They don't eat. Well, at least Rosie's doing okay. Rosie seems to be the one that the bad stuff happens to. So I'm glad so far she's doing all right. You know what I never noticed is the dark, dark patch on Daisy's nose. Looks like a heart. It's never been there before. Aw, look at that. It's funny how these little appies, they change so much. Their color changes with every, every season. Their hair coat changes a little bit. That's cute. Something else that the vet said is, you know, with the horses that had their teeth done today, the sedation can cause them to sweat and then they can get a chill from that. So, but these guys didn't have their teeth done today. We just did borders horses today for dentals. And I did Miss Kitty because Miss Kitty, she's one that really needed it. Oh, this is a good sign. Showing a little interest in food. Ah, that's great. How many hours I've spent standing and waiting for a horse to eat 
or poop or drink or pee. Those are all indications that we look for. That's good. At least she's showing interest. That means something's changing. Okay, perfect time for me to walk away for a little bit and go feed some other horses. All right, it's been a couple hours and all the horses are eating. Hey, Bear. Bear looks a lot perkier than he did. Daisy's over in this little bunch here. That's where the ponies are. And they're all eating, so that's really good. <laughs> Manzer's right behind me. He didn't get his rabies vaccine today, but that's coming sooner than later. So he's actually going to be due for all of his vaccines. So everybody seems to be doing okay. All the big horses seem to be doing okay. And I'm going to go in the house for a while and check back on everybody later. So, but thank you so much for watching and I'll be sure to keep you posted if there's any changes.